pretty head like Baby sleep. All right, what's up, my fish? I'm gonna come feed y'all real quick. You know, y'all niggas been hungry for a daylight live this morning. A few of y'all probably committed suicide when I didn't go live. You know how y'all do. But um, so I want to speak on some some serious stuff. Shouts out to everybody that's rocking with the ghost video. Um. Just to let y'all know, like like I did with every other video from the Light Scan Project, you ain't gonna get the whole video because the video itself belongs to another portion of the film. And um, those are just previews of the film and a little of the inter the middle scenes of the actual movie. So, like the movie is kind of like the m remember remember that that movie Mary Poppins. Y'all might not remember that movie Mary Poppins, but. The whole movie is kind of like that, like they're singing and dancing in between scenes and then it goes back to the movie, yada, yada, yada. But uh, two things I want to talk about, you know, I'll say two things. Uh, one thing is how we per change, oh, how we per change, how we change the perception of a word, right? And um, slowly, I think I'm changing how people hear the word thing. I don't think you can even hear the word thing regular no more. Like when you hear things, it's just like it's a thing. Right? Like I, I think I've officially changed the way our brains hear the word thing. Because now it's like when you doing things, it's like a freaky thing. So you can't, you can't like, you would never hear the word thing again, regular. It's like, like things, and you're doing things. You wanna do things? Freaky things. We doing things. You wanna do things? Right? And I, I be trying to tell myself, like, why it sound like that, right? You ever, when you hear it, you you saying things regular, but it don't sound the same no more. Like, like every time I hear things, I be like, it don't sound regular no more. Like, it's like a different thing. But anywho, so just to let y'all know, I have a plethora of music, music, music. Excuse my language, bro. I just woke up. I took like a little 15 minute nap and power rest. So I'm like kind of, nah, that's why my, my energy is like kind of down. And it's like raining outside, so my energy is kind of like, ah. Uh, but, um, so I have a plethora of like videos that I'm going to be uploading, right? And, um, um, like a plethora of things, and I have a plethora of videos I'm going to be uploading. But I want y'all to really pay close attention to like how I'm, putting out my videos and what I'm doing with the videos, right? Like, remind you, I'm, I shoot all my own videos and edit all my own videos. But, um, like, what I'm trying to do in my videos is I'm trying to, like, visually give y'all, you know, more, right? I'm trying to visually give y'all, like, like, a very cinematic or creative aspect to most of the videos that I drop. And although it's like not a lot going on, like it's like a lot going on. You get what I'm saying? And um, you know, there are some things in that ghost video that, like, when it when the official video drop, like, there's some things in there that, like, it's gonna be kind of wild. Like, like it's like I've been thinking about like Easter eggs, like kind of like the way I write raps. It's kind of like the way that I'm gonna put out the music, and also. If you notice, if you notice, like lately, I've been rapping over it just sitting. One kid over there, wild out the kid sleep. Sitting. Your brother sleep, mister. Literally cleared up. All right. So, if you really look at like what I've been doing lately, I've been rapping over just melody. 
right? Right. Damn, you just gonna admit to stalking a nigga crazy ass bitches, bro? With you? But anywho, right? Notice I just been like rapping over melodies and like I've been I've been telling myself like with beats, right? Like actual beats, like I try to think about the word, like the actual word beat. It's like damn, like like maybe this shit like beating in our eardrums. And I fuck. Hold on. I be thinking about like the frequencies and shit and like specific beats and shit like that. Like, and I think about the word beat in general and I'm like, damn, like maybe like the beat itself is like what's fucking us up and got us in like a lower frequency. Then I think about like lately we went into a low frequency type of format. Like we went into like the deep grunge, like lower dark 808, just super bassy. And when you think about bass in general, it's like, damn, like, people addicted to the bass. Like, then it's like bass heads. And, and excuse me. I don't even want to use the word bass heads because I don't want anybody to be offended. So I'll change that. But crackheads, whatever. But, like, think about the word bass. And then you tie all that shit into, like, low frequency. And then it's, like, deep, dark, low frequency. Then I was like, all right. Whatever. So lately what I've been doing is I've been rapping over, like, high pitch flutes and like flutes and saxophones and guitars and shit like that because I, I realize like that shit does something else to you when you listen to it right versus like dark when you hear like a dark piano or something like that like you automatically feel like it's gonna get cloudy right now where I'm from the word basic could get you killed so I don't really use that term just out of respect right uh, but yeah, like when you hear like dark, dark pianos and shit like that, like you be wanting to cry. What's up, man? Say what type of things y'all doing? All type of things, right? So when you hear like dark pianos and shit like that, or just stupid dark shit, you be wanting to cry. But like when you hear like when you hear like bright shit or like very like like it's almost like you hear colorful music like you ever hear like colorful music like damn that shit sound colorful like right like you ever like when you hear reggae music you feel me you hear like you feel me you hear all them like those instruments and your vibe be like yo i'm about to go out nigga, i'm about to be out here nigga with my tie-dye shirt on nigga a rastafari you feel me like so when you hear when you hear certain sounds or certain beats and shit, it's kind of like, it's like, yo, like, I can't really explain it. So, like, like I've learned that sometimes people be making music over beats that don't really sonically go to what they're saying, right? And I've been figuring that out. Like, it's a combination of both. Like, you kind of... You kind of got to find melodies and certain frequencies to tap into the specific emotions of what you're saying, right? And that's kind of what I've been doing with a few of these, like, later songs I've been doing, right? right? A lot of the songs I've been doing recently, right? Like, I've been trying to figure out, like, um, how to find beats that go to what I'm saying or how to find sounds that go to what I'm saying. Now, another thing, just to get off music, another another thing I want to talk about, it's kind of like a middle thing before I get to my second thing. Another thing I want to talk about is how we live in a world where people minds search for negativity so crazy. And you ever think about this? You ever think about somebody can give you 99% good things and then 
you you can say one thing they don't agree with, and they'll just they'll pretty much be like, I can't fuck with that person. Hey, 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 no, 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 you ain't getting that fucking fucking thing over there. Chill your boy out, right? For example, be like, yo, I fuck with that. 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 Yo, he right. Yo, he right. Yo, I fuck with that. Yo, he right. Yo, he hell yeah, shit fight. And then you'd be like, well, that one thing, I don't really like what he said, so I'm not going to follow him. It's like, bro, this shit be kind of wild, right? Hey, man, chill. Hey, hey. Hey. Yo. Yo, brother, over here, homie. Yeah. Right? kind of wild how that shit work. All right, so before I get to what I want to get to, y'all want to tell y'all some shit. Yo, Hawaii is literally one of the most saddest places I've ever been to in my entire life. Uh, especially Maui. And I know y'all probably like, yo, day you out there enjoying your life, but when you when you think with a mind like mine and you have a mind like mine, you can't really enjoy stuff like this because your brain see the bigger picture. Now, um, one thing that I can say is, yeah, I'm sad. I'm extremely sad. I'm happy. I'm having a good time, but I'm extremely sad. And one of the reasons why I am sad is I've been here for almost two weeks and I haven't seen a single Hawaiian nor have I seen a single black person. Not one. Like literally none. Like zero. And then the people that I did see that had on Hawaiian shit, they were like Asian or Chinese or some shit. Talking about hello, hot man, you ain't Hawaiian, bro. You Asian or Chinese. I haven't seen a single Lilo and Stitch looking person, not one. Like zero, like absolutely none, like not one. So when you really think about the roots of shit, like Hawaiian niggas are dark, bro. They like niggas, right? So when I really think about this shit, it's like, yo, everything got took, bro. Everything. Everything. Yo, how did niggas take this? How did, like, it's kind of wild, bro. So, this some other crazy shit. So, me and my man P, we went up to the mountains, right? Remember that, that picture that I showed y'all where I was on top of the mountain? It's like the small clip in Ghost when I was walking and we over the clouds. So, look, peep this, right? Peep this shit. So we over the clouds, and at the top, at the very top of the mountain, there's a government facility at the very top of the mountain. But remind you, this shit is over the clouds, right? Like, the mountain go higher than the clouds. Like, it's over the clouds. Like, you're not even in the regular world no more. Like, weather don't exist. Ain't no rain, ain't no snow, ain't no nothing up there, bro. You over the clouds. Here. Right? So you like you like over the clouds and then it's like a government thing up there that you can't drive to, right? So I really thought about this. It's always clouds at that mountain. It don't matter if the whole island is clear, it's always clouds at the mountain, so you can't see the government thing on the top of the mountain. I finally came to a final conclusion. That's where fucking alien niggas land at, bro. It's like a fucking alien landing site at the top of the mountains over the clouds. So, like, if a UFO came straight down, you won't even be able to see it. Like, it could just land over there. So then, my nigga, me and P was shooting a video. You know the clip from Ghost? We were shooting a video. I swear to God, bro, as God is my witness, a police came out of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Like there was like you know like a bat cave like the mountain opened up and a police came out of the mountain. Like like they got a secret layer inside of the volcano, bro. I swear to you, as God is my witness, bro. The nigga came out of the mountain, bro, and told us we can't walk right here. I, 
And I'm just thinking like, bro, you ain't even from here. How are you going to tell me where I can walk? Like, I was really thinking that in my mind. I'm like, bro, you not even from Hawaii. How you going to tell me where we could go? In my mind, I was thinking that, but bruh had his hand close to his gun, and I'm like, that don't even look like a regular Glock. Like, that shit looked like a Marvin the Martian gun. It wasn't a reg It was like one of them taser gun looking things, but it had like a cone on the end, and I'm like, that nigga probably a blast me to the Thanos, you know, the dust. When Thanos turn the niggas to dust, he probably gonna blast a nigga to one of them. So I say, yo, I ain't even gonna say nothing. I'm just get on off these rocks. You feel me? I'm going to just remind you, my boy, Pete White. But when we got off the rocks, bro walked straight to me. I'm like, bro, you didn't see him on the rocks? Bro walked straight to me and was like, so what are y'all doing? Fuck you mean what we doing, man? You better talk to the white dude. Don't talk to me, nigga. Shit, I don't know. Nigga, nigga I started faking Jamaican. Yo, Juan Twan went to my just vacation. I started thinking, talking all the time. Me just vacation, walking on the rock, boy. I started saying all type of Jamaican things. And he was like, oh, this was just my friend was visiting. We were, he's steady looking at me. I'm like, man, what you looking at? Alien ass nigga? Damn. I need seven bottles of sunblock looking ass nigga. Fuck you looking at? Bradley looking ass nigga. Right? So bam, he's steady looking at me. My man P's like, you look, look at me, bro. We, we're, we're here, we're here with it. He's steady looking at me. He had a thing out for me. I swear to God, bro. He had a thing out for me. You know, the, you know the white black thing, the thing that all whiter police got against black people? He had that thing. So I'm like, man, we just filming a video, my nigga. You got any other problem? Shit, nigga, it is what it is. Fuck it, nigga, I'm ready. How do you niggas out here taking people mountains and all that? How you just own a mountain? How you just gonna tell me I can't walk on a mountain? Who, who the fuck gave you permission to tell me I can't walk on a mountain? Yo, look, my nigga. This summer, I'ma just start smoking niggas, bro. <laughs> like, that's how I feel, bro. Like, I should, I need, like, I need like some type of laser gun that like 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 start on my finger. I just need to start. I need a lightsaber. Like y'all know where Anakin at, so I could buy a lightsaber, bro. I'm on. Like, I swear, bro. Like I be feeling like that. Like, bro, how you gonna? Man? Like in my mind, I be like, I should just smoke this nigga. Like he need to be shot. How you going to tell me I can't walk on a mountain that ain't yours? What type of shenanigans y'all running? Bro, I swear to you, I'm going to find a way to get me like a fucking lightsaber. Or like, I need one of those Star Wars guns. I don't, I don't want no regular gun that go pow, pow. My shit got to go pew, pew. I need one of them, one of them laser cannons. Mm. Nigga, I get one of them, nigga, I'm gonna be. Mm. Mm. Bro, it was like wild, bro. He came outside the mountain. It, look, you gotta drive up the the road for about at least, least fifteen or twenty minutes before you see something. Bro was nowhere on the mountain. He came out of the mountain. And told us, hey, bro. what was that? It was like a despicable me type of nigga. Bro came out the mountain. Hey, you can't walk right here. Hey. Damn, where you come from? Bro. I promise you, bro. It ain't no Hawaiians here, bro. None. 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 
I've been to about five to six beaches, probably more. I've been about eight beaches. I ain't seen a single Lilo and Stitch looking person. So my question would be, where the fuck is all the Hawaiians? Where? Are they dead? Did they eat them? Did they sacrifice them? Did they throw them off the cliffs? Where are they? They might be extinct, G. Here, get your beer. Here, this is yours. So it leads me to think, right? I finally came up with the final conclusion. Damn, G. Hold on. That's what you're going to get. So I came up with the final conclusion. It's my final conclusion, bro. The music industry, the entertainment industry, uh, the acting industry, all this shit is all designed so nobody won't even think about this. You know what's crazy? We out here trying to win billboards. We out here trying to win Grammys. We out here trying to win championships and fucking UFC trophies and all that. The stupid shit, right? We out here trying to win all type of stupid shit. And the rest of these higher up niggas is winning the planet. We out here battling for fictitious goals. They out here winning the whole globe. Bro. It's like an epic setup. Now, that's the last thing I want to talk about before I go. I know a lot of people saying, yeah, daylight need to be careful. Something going to happen to him for talking all that type of shit. Look, I'm 33 years old. I already seen 95% of the planet. I already fucking accomplished everything I ever dreamed about as a child. I'm good, bro. I don't care about my nigga. I don't Yo, If they come get me tomorrow, I'm good. I'm satisfied. They gonna bust through the door like, we got you now, I'ma be on the couch, asshole naked, nigga, I've been waiting for y'all. Before you kill me, nigga, could I get this last jack off one more time? Bro, I'm, I ain't worried about these people. Come on. Bro, like, I'm good. Niggas be like, yo, ain't you scared? Nigga, no. I'm 33 and I grew up in Watts. My nigga, my life expectancy wasn't supposed to be over 15. I'm good, nigga, come get me. I just need to get one BBW, one BBW whack before I go, G. If y'all don't let me get my BBW whack before I go, G, I'm going to be mad when I get dead and I'm going to hunt y'all niggas. You feel me? But see, that's why I don't never really care about dying because I know if you kill me, ooh, I can't wait to be a ghost. Nigga, I'm going to be hunting all the white people. No, nah, but if if they kill me, I promise you, bro, I'm going to be one of the coldest ghosts you ever seen, bro. Ooh. I ain't going to never scare nobody. I'm just eat all y'all snacks. Every time y'all come on, you know, all y'all uh, higher up niggas got all the good cereals, nigga, honey nut oats, nigga, high quality raisin bears and shit. Nigga, y'all going to come on, cereal box is going to be empty every day, nigga. I don't eat all y'all snacks, nigga, brownies and shit. Nigga, drink all y'all good-ass milk. Shit. 
I don't, I don't be fucking over y'all, nigga. They gonna be like, I think I seen a black ghost in the house. You damn right, that was me. They give me all them chips. All your, I'm gonna be all in their pantry. What the fuck you niggas talk about eating all y'all little rice cakes and darnish, danishes, you know, things. Keep playing with me. I'm going to really be a real live serial killer. Yeah. For real. Nigga, what? You know what's crazy, though? I'm going to tell you what they going to do with me. They ain't going to never kill me. Because I already put too much information out there about them coming to kill me. You know? I, they ain't going to just kill me. They, don't, they ain't going to do that. You know what they going to do? Damn, mosquito chill. Yo, mos yo, this goes to all the mosquitoes in the world. If you want to bite a nigga, just ask me. Gee, damn, don't bite a nigga while I ain't looking. That shit hurt. Let a nigga get prepared for the bite one time. But, no. You know what You know what they going to do? They ain't going to never kill me. They ain't going to just kill me, G. They got plans for niggas like me. They got super plans for niggas like me. They gonna pull me in in Area 51. What do you know, bro? Uh, they gonna spray me with the water hose. I'm, nigga, it's hot. I've been, nigga, I've been getting sprayed with water hose, nigga, my whole life. Bitch, that ain't gonna work. Nigga, I'm gonna be having fun in the torture. <sighs> nigga, shit, I ain't never went to Rachel. This Rachel Waters? This is my first time. Shit. They gonna try to torture me for all my info. Nigga, I ain't gonna give up nothing. Bruh, I be thinking about that. They go, they go try to do some things. They gonna do all the things that black people don't like. They just gonna turn the uh, the heater down. They gonna turn the heater down to like the 55, 60. Oh, nigga, I'm gonna tell everything. We don't like cold things. They gonna do everything. They gonna try to hurt me. Man, that shit don't hurt, nigga. My mom been whooping my ass since I was three. Nigga, my mom whooped me with every item in the house. Bitch, there ain't nothing y'all could do to hurt me. Right? They gonna turn the heater down to 65 and possibly 75. Oh, 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 all right. I'll tell you everything. You know, black people don't like cold things. Hell no. Oh, they gonna eat a bowl. If they eat some hot wings in front of me, oh, I'm telling everything. If they eat some lemon peppers in front of me and don't give me none, oh, I'm telling everything. I tell you the whole hood. Yep, he did it. Shit, let me get one of them lemon peppers. Jeez. Come here, man. Where you going? Shit, man. I'm gonna give it all up for the lemon peppers. Shit. But, um,. What's up, man? You gonna bite your bottle or you gonna eat it? It's up to you, dog. Yeah. But no, like on some real shit, I don't really, on some real, real shit, I don't really give a fuck if nobody come kill me. Come do it. I think that's why they don't kill me. I think they would have killed me if I was one of them niggas that was trying to live. I'm the type of nigga, if I find out where the killer things at, I'm gonna go to them. If I find out where the little, you know, government assassin niggas at, I'm going to go right. Hey, G, what you doing over here, G? You trying to play 2K? I'm going to go straight to him. You trying to play tag or something, my G? You know, I heard y'all was about to kill me next week, but I figured I'd just come a little early. You feel me, nigga? I'm ready to get out of here anyway, nigga. I got bad credit. You feel me, nigga? I got a couple of college loans that's still hunting a nigga. You feel me, nigga? My rap career ain't all the way popped off yet. I've been trying. Nigga, this is shit. Nigga, I'm ready to go, G. Shit. Can you make me the tater tots? Alright, I'll make them. Alright, just put something on the plate. You know how to put something on the plate, big dog? You feel me? Shit, nigga, I'm... Yes, that's where I always make them. 